Welcome to Learning at Nano BioVent. We present to you concepts in science, simplified, encapsulated, and presented to you. All of us know that we are made of cells and of many kinds of cells, which carry vital information, which allows the flexibility of exchange of nutrients and vital components important for life and growth. This cell membrane, which is highly efficient, is made of phospholipids, as many of you know. And if I were to tell you this phospholipid is the same component that a lipid bilayer is made of, it wouldn't be surprising. This has two components like the head and the tail. The head is water loving, that is hydrophilic, and the tail is hydrophobic. Because of this dual nature, which is supported by a glycerol backbone, it forms a spherical structure such that the water loving part is exposed to the exterior and the hydrophobic region is towards the interior. This is an ideal structure of a unilamellar vesicle which has a core which allows drug loading, that is, drugs with low solubility could be loaded into this aqueous core such that it can be efficiently delivered to the target site. And because of this encapsulating nature or the carrier nature of these liposomes, they can be used to deliver toxins or peptides or drugs or antibodies to any site of interest. This also allows carrying hydrophilic and hydrophobic drugs together in multilamellar vesicles because of their dual nature. Why is this liposomes preferred is because when a free form of drug is administered to any cell, it is not easily taken up by the cells whereas it is cleared from our system fast in a very short time and the long circulating time is decreased whereas when it is administered as a liposomal formulation, the cell membrane fuses with the lipid phospholipid bilayer thereby enabling the delivery of the drug directly into the cell. Thus, it is efficiently delivered into the target cell, efficiently reducing toxicity and increasing the bioavailability of the drugs, thereby treating and increasing the therapeutic value of the drugs and efficiently loading a drug of interest at the correct therapeutic dosage. There are different types of liposomes that have been developed. Initially, the conventional liposomes, which are the ones that we saw, but since they are being uh, cleared from the system, there have been several types of liposomes which have been developed during these days, which are stimuli-sensitive liposomes which respond to the tumor microenvironment or the endocyte environment like pH 6.5 that exists in the endocytes, which based on this releases the fuses with the endocyte, thereby releasing the drug of interest into the cytosol. So it offers a stimuli-sensitive and a targeted delivery of the drug into the cellular environment. The immune liposomes, which are often loaded with targeted antigens or antibodies, allow specific delivery of these drugs as well. Because these liposomes can also be cleared from our system, there have been efforts which are made to improve the efficiency or improve the circulation efficiency of the liposomes by uh, targeting or modifying the surface with a polymer like PEG, polyethylene glycol, which increases the circulation time. When the circulation time is increased, it allows the interaction efficiency or it increases the interaction efficiency of the cell and the target by many times thereby allowing the drug to be incorporated or taken up by the cell and these chances are very higher. That is why long circulating liposomes are of much interest and are updated and in use. Some of the drugs which have been Formulated and administered in clinical use are doxorubicin, which is in, administered in the form of a pegylated liposome, and vincristin is also given as a cholesterol liposome. And many more drugs and antifungals have been administered in liposomal formulation to overcome the adverse effects or to reduce the toxic effects uh, that are seen in the free form of the drugs. There have been several new generation liposomes and forms of liposomes that have been developed like 
neosomes. These neosomes are made of non-ionic surfactants and also have cholesterol incorporated in between the bilayers so that it becomes less prone to action or breakdown by the bile salts thereby it enables its efficiency to reach the target site without being disintegrated in the pathway. Then there are vesosomes which have been recently developed which enables the delivery of multiple drugs in a single shot. Then there are genosomes which allow the delivery of genes or delivery in a cationic phospholipid. The emulsomes are encapsulated by a solid fat core which allows the deficiency or in delivering a hydrophobic drugs. Then there are cryptosomes which are very stable formulations because the phospholipids are attached with a polymer like polyethylene glycol which increases the stability. Then there are ethosomes which are made of phospholipids and alcohol in a higher concentration. These are mostly used for topical applications on skin. Then there are virosomes which are made of phospholipid bilayer which is modified with a fusogenic viral protein which enables the delivery of a drug or a DNA or an antigen. These are some of the recent developments in the different forms of, of liposomes. We will be updating you soon about more information. Thank you.